Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me. So I'm here to do a flip through of this uh, cosy winter file folder journal that we've been working on together. Um, I did go ahead and just finish off screen um, because I really just had the embellishing and uh, filling pockets to do. So we are now, we are now finished. So this is um, made with a craft UK sized altered file folder. Um, or just a file folder, I've altered it. <laughs> so height wise, we're just over nine inches by six and a half. And um, I've used leg warmers for the covers. Um, obviously I have done videos on this. So um, the cover is this gray Fair Isle print leg warmer. And then for the front, I made this shabby wreath inspired by, yes, I made it myself. Um, and that's glued onto the front. Um, so we've got all different like lacy clusters, um, this little pink charm and bow. And uh, along the spine, I've got some ribbon because the journal inside or notebook journal is, um, is, uh, is removable. <clears throat> and the blush ribbon to, to keep it all closed is sewn um, underneath the uh, cover. Okay, here we go. So this is how we look when you first open it up um, and the idea for this is of course it's winter um, but it's got a pink and grey tones to it to go with the uh, leg warmer um, and the vibe of it was if you were going to take a walk outside of your cabin your cozy cabin um, hence the wreath on the front of the journal and if you were going to go through the trees go through the walking um, in like a fresh winter's day um, then this is kind of the vibe I wanted the journal to have Okay, so we'll start with this side. Um, so we've got um, a junk mail belly band. Um, I made these on video at the beginning of the series. And in there, I've got one of my Shaker CD wallet journal cards. So this one is the deers in the woods with the, the moon behind and the space on the back to, to write. So I thought that would look nice in there. <clears throat> So we have this uh, large envelope that opens up. Um, so I've got a little pocket on the front here with a couple of um, little cards. Hopefully you can see that okay. I'm just making sure you've got, got you all in because it's quite wide when you open it all out. Um, we've got some kit page on the back. I have used different kits throughout the journal as I normally do. I like to mix and match. So um, I will put all of the kits in the description box um, so you can see exactly what I've used rather than me uh, going through all of it. Um, this is one of the journal cards that I made. So this is the front with the nice squirrel and pink roses and that's the back, made from some packaging. I did that in one of my Shop Your Trash videos. Um, here we have a little envelope with a library pocket that I've decorated up and then this is the card to go inside. Simple stenciling and a sticker. <clears throat> um, then we have little pocket that I made in Tina's Mass Makes with one of my fabric embellishments on the front and this is the tag for in there, just really pretty pink paper um, some kit page on the back and this is the front of this envelope where I've got a little bit of collaging detail with some wintry trees and snowflakes and framed uh, mistletoe from the kit or one of the kits um, and then when that opens up, we've got a pocket kind of mirroring this. I made them together and they feature the same sort of embellishments, uh, which means the tag is quite similar as well. It's the same paper, just a different part of it. <clears throat> um, in the middle here, we've got one of uh, Tina's mass makes that I did. Um, so this one flips out for a little tuck spot in here um, and a couple of places to write. And then I've just put some of the kit page inside, which you can write on front and back. Um, and then I've stuck that down as a belly band for this. This comes from a Christmas card. Um, and I just thought with the greys and the silvers and the wintry vibe, that would just go really nicely. So that sits in there. So a little bit of symmetry going on, but not exact symmetry. Can't remember which way around it goes. There we go. So that flips open again, um, and then this is what we've got on the back panel. So um, I made this uh, from one of the, I think it was the advent calendar challenge that we had running in the Facebook group. So this is the tag I made for it. Um, 
originally it was just going to be a writing tag um, but I really liked how it looked on there so I stuck it down as a belly band um, which I'll show you in a second. The tag itself has a pocket. Um, this is made from a soft fabric which reminded me a little bit of snow um, and then I've put uh, a tree on the front and it says there is beauty in simplicity and then this tag that goes in the pocket, really simple tag with just a tree on, when that is in the pocket I kind of wanted it to be like you know little tree big tree trees together kind of thing, that was the thinking behind that anyway. Um, and then this tag with the lady on is kind of mirroring you know what you would be like if you were out in the cold with the pink and the grey all around. And this is the uh, tag that or card sorry, that I've got in there. Um, there's a scrapbooking paper that I've decorated up and I've got a little sparkly cluster down here. That's the back, I've made it look like a, a postcard. It's a bit of a tight fit um, but it does go in there nice. Um, here I've got a pocket from one of the kids and this is one, one of the tags in there. Um, I made this on a Shop Your Trash. <clears throat> I really enjoyed making that actually. And this is just a little tag to go in there as well. Um, and then this, so I wanted um, I wanted to give something else to this page, I wasn't really sure what, so I ended up putting this in. It's a little picture frame, almost like if you had a, a frame on your, your wall. Now it's a bit of a tight squeeze, um, but it does come in and out, I just wouldn't do it often. Um, it's supposed to be like a secret journaling spot um, to go there and you could also you know, hide something underneath like a, a picture or another writing spot or something. Um, but as you can see it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but I promise it does go in. <laughs> and I will do it on video just to prove. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, so probably not the best idea I've had, but, you know, that's how these things go sometimes. And put that back in. Um, so that's that one side finished. <clears throat> um, and then here we've got the removable journal. Um, so this is a Franken paper journal cover that I did on video, and I've added some soft white lace uh, along the sides, some snowflakes, and just a little book plate. Um, and then the, I think I made it on book page, and then the middle, the, the back of it is uh, scrapbooking paper. So you could add more here, you know, clip something in, add a pocket, um, what have you. Um, it's just 10 sheets, so 40 sides of white presentation paper. So it's really good quality paper, um, and I just wanted it to reflect, you know, the snowy whites, which is why it's not dyed or anything. Um, so that whole piece is stitched in with, I think I did a three hole pamphlet stitch um, and then as you can see the blush ribbon that you saw on the outside is just keeping the whole piece in. So you can slide it in and out. Um, it's not as easy as elastics um, but I really liked how that ribbon looked along the spine so I thought I would do it that way instead of um, elastics. Um, on the back there I just felt like I needed to do something. Um, so these colours are kind of mirroring the different tones over here. So we've just got a little bit of a collage and it says stay the earthen path. <clears throat> and then we're on to the other side of the folio. Um, so here we've got some book page um, and I just finished off with some uh, stickers and eyelash trim snowflakes. And it says the silver pencil of winter draws. It's from a poem. So that flips open. Um, and then we've got this pocket here. This is a side tuck with some uh, snowy trees. And what I liked about this was the trees are reflected here. So can you see it kind of goes into what is actually a tag from that. different A different uh, writing space on the back because I didn't want to completely cover the, the paper. It says tree shadows. But yeah, I kind of like that that tag kind of morphs into the, you know, it's all about the trees morphing. And then what you'll also notice is these trees match here. Um, so yeah, depths of trees basically <laughs> is the vibe for this, this whole folio. Um, so when you open it out, you get much like the, the page before or the side on the other side, you get um, this kind of faux symmetry thing. So we've got a pocket with um, a fabric embellishment on, and this is the tag. Very simple, just with that pretty paper that matches this belly band. So that's that one and same again with the snowflakes 
and the same paper. <clears throat> so as I say, these match this double belly band. So we've got a belly band at the back. This is another Christmas card front for writing on. And in the front there, we've got a double belly band. Um, and then, as I say, these are the trees you could see. Um, so I've put it in backwards because then when you turn it over, you get this collaging, which is kind of like a surprise. Um, and this is one of those matchbook um, writing spots. So that's just in there. I made that in Tina's Mass Makes as well. Um, but I've put it in backwards because, as I say, I really liked those trees and the fact that that's a bit of a surprise when you turn it over. So much like before, that whole piece flips out. There we go. Um, here we have a pocket to match the other side from one of the kits. Um, this is actually a Christmas card, but I liked it for, you know, the brown pine cones, the pink and the, the stars. It's vintage, um, but the idea was you could write on the back of it or just, you know, appreciate it for the vintage that it is. <laughs> um, and then this is one of my collage masterboard cards. Um, to go in there with all the nice pinks, pink tones. And then I've just put some snowflakes, again, the horse paper and some snowflakes along there to finish that side off. <clears throat> I forget how many pockets there are to these things. Um, here we've got a little flip out that I made from one of my scraps saying silence of nature. And that flips out just for a little writing spot or you could, you know, stick a photo there or, or what have you. Um, and then that is hiding this picture frame, uh, which has some uh, pink roses in, because there are roses in this folio with the, the pink winter kind of vibe. So we've got those there and it says nature's garden. That's just a little surprise. You don't know it's there until you flip that out. This flips out. Um, so we've got a little tuck spot from one of the kits. And you can see the deers are reflected. Um, so it's lost in the trees. And then we have this bird that comes flying into land. Um, behind as a card from one of the kits. Um, here we've got a side loading pocket which um, is from Tina's Mass Makes again which I made then and we've got this. This was a gift tag I received at Christmas but it's got a really nice uh, pale pink um, and again the deers and then I've put some of my faux watercolour paper on the back to give it a pink splashy effect. Um, and then in there also we've got this um, little notebook um, this was in the Winter Rose kit that I used. It is linked down below. Um, and it's basically just the pages from the kit shrunk down into mini form. And then I've just stapled it in as a little notebook. So that just slots in there. <clears throat> um, and then this whole piece is a side pocket as well for this William Morris postcard that uh, Mandy kindly sent me. And that is the last pocket, that's your lot. Um, here I just wanted to note, um, I've got the tab here and I had to put some eyelash trim in there because the fabric from the leg warmer didn't quite cover the whole um, uh, the whole piece there. So there was too much brown showing for my liking. So I added the sparkly eyelash trim, which mirrors this bit down here. So I didn't think it was too out there. And that's your lot, that is the journal. Um, so I'm really happy with it. It looks very different from what I originally had in my head, but you know, that's how these things go. Um, you have to go with what your inspiration is telling you at the time. And you know, that's that's where this one led me. So that is the end of my cozy winter uh, projects for the time being. Um, I am putting the rest on hold until uh, next winter um, because you know, this took me a little bit longer than I was expecting. Um, just in terms of like thinking about it and making it. So, um, and also I had other projects going on in the month of January. So, but anyway, that is the journal, um, or the folio, that I altered file folder journal. <laughs> I really need to come up with a new name for those because it's a bit of a mouthful. Um, so if you are interested in this journal, please do uh, email me. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put it in my Etsy shop. So I do want to sell it. Um, it's just that I don't know if I'm too late in the winter season for putting this into Etsy. So um, if you are interested, email me um, so that you can reserve it. Um, if I don't receive emails, then it may or may not go into my Etsy shop. I'm just not sure. Um, I may wait until the next winter season when I've got the other ones finished. I just don't know at this stage. 
Um, but for now, um, that is that. I promise to flip through. <laughs> um, and that's that's me done. So um, I hope you like it. I hope you like how it's come together. I'm really happy with it. It's got such a um, a cosy feeling on the outside. And then, of course, you're, you know, you're stepping out of the cabin into those, you know, frosty greys and pinks and things. Um, and yeah, I really like the, the profile of it. It's not too chunky. It's it's about right, actually. So. So, yeah, I'll stop waffling. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me for this flip through. And um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.